intrinsically linked to each other. Um, if you've ever sat around and watched us in a football practice, um, the Ethans are always lined up against each other. I think they do it on purpose. I'm not sure how that works out. It definitely seemed like it. Um, Ethan Reno, I don't know why we didn't do most improved player. He would easily be our most improved player from week one, from summer to week 10. I'm a little biased. Yeah. <laughs> uh, week one, I, I remember Coach Rice came to me and was telling me about Ethan. I'm like, oh, sweet. Like, we're going to get a body. This is going to work out. And Ethan had not played football before. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, oh, that, that's right. It's like one year. And that first practice, I remember coming to Coach Rice and like, what, what? What happened? It did not go well. Ethan had a real rough probably three or four straight practices where, like, I'm trying to build up Ethan so he doesn't quit. It, 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 was, it was not in a good place. And I think around week three or week four, I'm not even sure what caused it, to be honest with you. Ethan just all of a sudden just started murdering practice. He probably had a straight week where it's all of a sudden it's like, okay, we got to get Ethan on the field. Just, we have to. It was either that or fight mom. <laughs> yeah. Then he wasn't going to win. we get in the league, and all of a sudden Ethan's a guy that is rotating at two offensive spots in practice. He's a guy that's playing on defense. He's a guy that we're trying to sneak on the special teams. He's a guy that we just couldn't keep off the field. We just had to find places for him to be. And really the, the most important thing with Ethan, I think, is that even when he hit like the lowest point, he bought, he, he, we didn't pull him up, he pulled himself up. And that was such a huge bounce factor that Kids his age don't have usually. <laughs> Most people aren't able to lift themselves up like that when things get really, really bad. And he's a guy that hopefully I get to keep next year. We're not, we're not gonna let Brandon bring him up. <laughs> so I'm, no, I'm hoping I get to keep you because <laughs> yeah. uh, well, they do have a habit of taking my guys. But I am very much looking forward to coaching him next year and seeing where we can go further. My my other Ethan, Ethan Ross. And I hesitate to use terms like this with any player. He might be the most football smart player I've ever coached, quarterbacks oh. included. Wow. And the reason I say that is he's really the first player I've ever had that came to the sidelines, unprompted, told me the alignments of the three guys on his side immediately, was right, more importantly, and was like, hey, let's just start sticking with these two concepts. I've never had a player do that before <laughs> and be right, to be clear. I've had plenty do it and be horribly wrong. Ethan is incredibly sharp. Uh, he's a guy I could straight up just trust to tell me what was going on. And the other side of that is he's a guy that when you turn on the tape, he finishes. And that's the hardest thing to teach a lineman to do is to actually finish a block and get a guy out of the way. And in high school, finishing doesn't mean a pancake. Like, the reality is this isn't Pop Warner. You're not just going to be a bigger guy and just push everyone over. But he gets guys out of the way and gets them to the right spot, most importantly. Uh, he's a guy that is pretty much going to be me and Coach McFadden's mission to put muscle on him. we, we got to get you stronger. We will. <laughs> but he's a guy that the best thing I can say about a player when I meet with Coach McFadden and Coach Humphrey at the end of the year is you can trust him. You can trust him to do the right thing when he's on the field. You can trust him to do the right thing when he's in the weight room. You can trust him to do the right thing when he's on campus. I can trust him. Just implicit. I'm serious. That's the best thing I can say, say about a player, and I mean it with him. I, I can trust him. So both my evens. Get up. Yay.